Hello everybody, Penguin Stew here. Today we're going to be looking at running with rifles. Now this is a top-down iso isometric, I think, uh, shooter game where you run around and shoot things. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so there's a lot of game modes. Uh, right now we're going to be looking at the quick match mode. If you go down here, you can choose if you want to be the green belts or if you want to have these groups enabled. I'm sorry. Green belts, gray collars, and brown pants. We'll do these two. And then choose your map. You keepsake Bay. Load resources in advance. Uh, there's a lot of options for this game as you can see over here. You have the number of bases to capture to set. Uh, your starting experience, experience rewards. Now let's just go ahead and crank this all the way up. Max soldiers, we'll leave it at 195. Friendly capacity. And this is their health, their accuracy. 94% seems a little bit high. Let's uh, back here, but down to about 85. What's the bottom? 75? Yeah. We'll give our guys a boost here. See, we can do we can do 100% with ours and 75 for theirs. They're a bunch of nasty, undisciplined maggots, so we got this. <laughs> All right. And then we can also choose which faction we'll be. Green belts or brown pants? We'll do the green belts. All right, and here we are. Right here. You start off as a character. Um, and basically, you are no different from anyone else. You have the same health they do, the same weapons, the same abilities. Uh, you, are in sp you are special in no way, shape, or form. You got a little map here. This uh, line of green arrows here shows the direction you're attacking from. Uh, signifies the line of departure. And then where your objective is. Now how it determines capturing objectives is by the ratio of your people versus enemy that are there. And you have to own more than two thirds, more than two thirds of the people on the point have to be uh, from your faction to be able to control it. So. Whoa! You gotta watch out, friendly vehicles will run you down. As you can see I've picked up a squad here. At the bottom right you can see that I have five out of five squad members. And uh, as you you kill enemies, uh, we're gonna get some contact here. Reloading. All right, those guys are dead. Yeah, some of them are a little bit bugged, where they're kind of standing up, even though they're dead. But it's okay. And we need to keep going to the left here. There's a few inaccuracies in this, like the, uh, it says we have the M16A4 rifle for our character. Uh, however, the M16A4 fires three round bursts, and this is fully automatic. So it would actually be an M16A3 if they had that accurately. But it's okay, there's a... Uh, there's a lot of modding uh, support, modability in this game, so you can go ahead and put that in yourself. I actually did make a mod version, it took me, I don't know, a couple hours, once, uh, a couple hours to figure it out, and then, you know, much less than that to actually <laughs> do it. And uh, just one bullet can kill you in this game. So, this is why I lowered their accuracy way down, so I could avoid respawning over and over and over again. <laughs> but, uh, gotta advance the cover to cover carefully. So, you have to, uh, make a decision 
about how you want uh, your maneuverability versus exposure. See right now, I'm prone, which gives me the least maneuverability, but it also makes me less exposed to enemy fire. This force I have a hard time with because I have difficulty telling you know what angles I actually have on the enemy and what angles they have on me. You can order your squad to do things. Like here if I double click twice on this, they'll go ahead and they'll attack up here. Reloading. If your cursor is yellow, you should be able to hit and kill them. If it's not yellow, then you might not. Alright. Now we got the high ground, tactical advantage. And that guy took a couple hits to kill him because he was wearing body armor. That's one thing you can actually buy from armories. You can buy different weapons, uh, body armor, all sorts of stuff to help you out. And if you capture enemy weapons, if you take five of them to the armory, you can uh, start buying that weapon from your armory. We'll go ahead, we'll respawn here by the armory, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Come to the armory, you hold F and you can buy things like uh, right now buy a vest type 2 and what this does is it allows you to get hit two times actually three times before it kills you uh, the first two knock you on your butt and then the third one you get knocked down and you're wounded and looks like I have the L85 unlocked we'll go ahead and get that if you have something in your backpack and it puts it over a hundred percent mark the backpack will show up on your character and you get reduced accuracy and movement speed. So you want to try to keep that down. And if you get items and you come to the armory, you can place them in it like this. You get one requisition point for it. And this would get ten requisition points for it. You do that. And you can also buy stuff. Uh, we can go with uh, G deployment. We'll do that instead of the meta kit. Did I get body armor? Yeah, I got body armor. Okay. Alright, so now we'll get up here. We'll continue this attack. As you can see, this is an enemy jeep and they've captured it. <laughs> the uh, green belts are, are roughly representing the uh, Americans. The brown pants are roughly representing the Russians. And the gray collars are roughly representative of the Germans. That's the M16, the G36, and the AK-47, uh, respectively. Okay, wow. It's getting pretty intense in here. Now we've got some other things we can do. You can see how they're all coming around here. And call in thunder. Press H, brings up your radio. And do a fire mission, danger close. Rounds on the way. You hear, you hear those rounds off? Yeah, going off in the distance. And then bam. You gotta be careful though, because they'll take your guys out just as they will the enemy. So you need to be careful where you fire those things at. There is friendly fire on this game. There's also several game modes. You can do, uh, there's a co-op, player versus player, um, different multiplayer. I haven't gotten onto the multiplayer yet. Um, for the, uh, as you can see, I got hit twice. Knock it down, so. So you can see in the bottom, bottom left hand corner here, my bulletproof vest has two little uh, bullet hole marks on it. 
And that's basically representing that. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get more people here. Right, I'm gonna hit B to uh, equip my secondary, which is that machine gun. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place it down right here. <laughs> that was an epic fail. <laughs> What I was going to do was place it there, and then, uh, you know, cover stuff with it, but it just didn't quite work out, did it? The uh, L85, the way it's set up on the game, is a uh, three-round burst. Now, I've never actually used one of those, so off the top of my head, I can't tell you um, what it actually is in real life. I know the AK-47 is fully automatic. I'm not sure about the G-36 either. Oh, see, now I'm hit. So, now that I'm down like this, I can call for a medic. And if somebody has a medic pack, they can come get me. If not, uh, I can hold the radio, request reinforcement drop. I'm going to request 8 guys drop in. Now you notice that costs me requisition points, which you have to get by capturing enemy weapons. Uh, you can also get, there's uh, some random drops, like a random premium uh, type weapons. They're special. Uh, if you get those and take them in, you can get like 100. Oh, that's not good. These guys are pretty tough here. Oh, they all have body armor? Alright, now we got more than two thirds. And as you can see, since we have more than two thirds, there's a countdown timer going. And. Once it gets to zero, uh, and we have dropped down below two thirds, so I'm gonna have to get back up again. So it takes a little bit of time to turn when you're on the ground. It's actually a really neat game, and a lot, a lot deeper than you would think. Once you look at it, it's like, oh, you just run around with rifles not quite. There's a lot of tactics that actually go into it. Uh, fire and maneuver being one of the main things. Uh, if you had a, a group of people you were playing with who actually knew what they were doing, you could actually use real military tactics such as the fire team rush, um, the covering fire, different things. Okay, and now we have captured this area. Uh, let's see. Looks like we got an armory southwest of us here. Oh, and you can jump off of tall buildings. Uh, you suck. If you press tab while you're dead, you can select the uh, spawn point that you want to spawn at. Whereas if you press... Base, it'll just put you wherever. Uh oh. Let's get prone. See, it takes a while to turn while you're while you're prone, but it makes it harder for them to both see you and hit you. That guy's got body armor on. Yeah, but it doesn't make it impossible for them to hit you. <laughs> and if you have a regular weapon, uh, just one that you can buy from the armory, if you die whenever you respawn, you'll respawn with it. Although you don't respawn with things like uh, body armor. 
but if it's purchasable at the armory, it's kind of a standard uh, type thing. Whenever you respawn, you'll respawn with it. Man, they are guarding this armory like nobody's business. Alright. Move up. Order my guys to advance there while I'm placing cover fire down for them. Alright, looks like we have taken that armor now. capturing weapons. Okay, I can't show anything because I'm dead. This is why I put down the accuracy and stuff. Because you see how much I'm dying right now. If I had it higher, it would just be like... Like every five seconds I would be dead. You know, it's, a, it's a really difficult game because you are not any... There we go. Game girl. Alright. Now we got the game girl. Go to the armory. Select it. See, we get 500 requisition points for turning this in. So you got to pay attention to what's dropped. And uh, especially because it's only there for a limited time. I think it's 30 seconds that stuff stays on the ground. Get the machine gun. Alright, now we're going to order in an artillery strike in this guy's position. Alright. You can only, uh... You have to be either... Either crouched or standing. Fire mission, one round. Oh, well, seems I don't have to now. Fire mission, one round. Boom. Now, it's not one round as in one shell. It's one round as in, like, one volley. Ha 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 ha. Uh-oh. But I got wasted by this guy on the roof while I was doing that. Okay, now I'm, I'm back up. So now, since my my body armor's taking so much damage and is going to be basically worthless, I can go ahead and turn it back in, get like 2 RP for it, and get a new bulletproof vest. So you can press F to uh, swap weapons, or you can hold F and it brings up this little menu here and you can put stuff in your backpack. Now, just one weapon in your backpack will take you up over 100%, so... Well, that guy's on the roof, but I think he's got a shotgun, so... You're probably gonna be okay there. Oh. A little much stuff here. Chewing gum. Horny magazine. as an enemy officer. If you uh, knife the enemy officers, you can pick up their body armor, which is like level 3 or something. And I think you get an extra hit with it. But um, I always have trouble with knifing because the key's kind of awkward. It's a default bound to V. So I'd, I don't really use it much at all. Let's come up the ladder. Not in my house, you're not. Nope. And now I'm wounded. So you press the uh, fire button. You call out for help. If there's a medic, he'll come in. You get reinforcements here. Usually if you get reinforcements, somebody will drop in with a medic pack. I'm going to save your skin. Oh. Well, that didn't work out too well. You can also deploy cover, which sets up these little... Uh, sandbags here. I forget what they're called. There's a name for it. It's like uh, it's like paper with a wire frame, cardboard or something with a wire frame around it, and they fill it up with sand instead of having individual sandbags. And they use that for you know to create cover and barriers and stuff. Machine gun. Space to get on it. Yeah. Ha 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 ha
<laughs> yeah, this is how you do a machine gun. Now, this is the heavy machine gun, which has infinite ammo, and I don't believe requires a reload. Actually, all the weapons have infinite ammo, but um, this doesn't require a reload. Dang it! That little people die. That little people die. That little people die. This is how you, uh, how you fire a machine gun. You don't do, like, super long bursts. Because if you do that, you start spraying ammo everywhere and wasting it. But you don't, you don't do, like, one or two, two bursts either. I mean, on video games you can, it doesn't matter, but in real life if you do that, you'll, uh, You'll put too much strain on the full auto sear and cause it to break, which is not good because then if the full auto sear breaks, you end up with a runaway gun, which means it fires off every single round left in that ammo belt. I'll show you guys the M240. Now the thing with this M240 is you can't fire it while standing up or while crouching. You have to be prone to fire it. So if you press fire and you're not and you're not prone your guy will actually go prone to fire. And then when you're done firing, he'll go back to whatever stance he was in. Which is a bit of a pain. I kind of wish that he would just stay prone. Because, you know, like this. Fire a couple rounds. Stop. It makes this nice delay as your character changes animation. So, what you can do to uh, work around that is just press the prone button while you're firing. And a good combination is to use these... Uh, little deployment bags because if you're crouched behind them you can pop up and fire even with a machine gun pretty accurately plus whenever you're not firing you're protected so that works out pretty great and you can set these up anywhere um, assuming you bought one from the armory oh, that guy's got a special gun what's he got Oh, the Stoner LMG. Yeah, that's one of those uh, fancy spancy guns that if you pick up and return the armory, you get a whole bunch of requisition points for. Yay, we won! Uh, like, subscribe, leave comments, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay classy, man. I'm <laughs> sorry.